uh, peace of Christ to all. In this video, we will answer uh, one of the Abduls. Uh, you know, he's speaking about the miracles in the Quran, which supposedly about the creation uh, of the baby. Now, if we read the Muslims, the Muslims, by the way, all of them, they are uh, people who copy and paste from each other, which means nobody even do read what he is copying, what he is you know, pasting. And you can find the same post in every Islamic website. You know, one person he do it, the rest don't read it. The rest just copy and paste. Now, I want to show you from what the Muslims say, how we can prove that Islam is a false religion. Sorry, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm showing you that uh, comment from uh, Facebook. So you will see those uh, coming from time to time. Uh, but anyway, <coughs> uh, this Abdul, his name is uh, Sayyarif, whatever his name. Uh, he's saying, creation stage and uh, what uh, his essence. We have created you when, uh, 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 created you then, why don't you justify? Uh, you know, actually this is something very stupid to say. Because Allah is saying to the man, we created you, so why you are not satisfied or justified? What does this have to do with the creating you? If Allah in different verse in the Quran says that a human being would never justify. So it's, a, it's, it's something stupid anyway. So he's asking you why you will not, when the fact you are the one who made him this way. But anyway, this is, you know, we want to concentrate on the science part of the Quran. <coughs> uh, Allah supposed in here, are you notice a human seed which you emit? Is, is it you who create it, or are we who create it? Um, you know, uh, I, I don't know, this is, this is something uh, uh, we should stop with a little bit uh, to see if this is really something valid. Because a human being is created from a human seed. And remember, this is the Muslim translation. Actually, in here, Allah... Uh, if, if the Muslims taking this as science, and remember, Muslims are not taking this as metaphor, metaphorical talking no more. They are speaking science. Scientifically, this is very false. Because baby, and me, and you, and everybody, is coming from the sperm of the man and the egg of the woman. And actually, the egg of the woman is the most important part, but for sure, the egg of the woman alone cannot get fertilized. So the fertilizer is the, the semen of the man. So therefore, in here in the Quran, you will see Allah is ignoring the most important thing, which is the egg of the woman. Without it, you know, nothing would happen. And you know, in one of the hadith, Muhammad, he said, if a sperm of a man fell down in a rock, a rock might get pregnant. Because he believed that the, 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 sper the sperm of a man is uh, the reason for a man to, 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 to have babies. And... <clears throat> And I will show you that with the proofs and reference, you know, we will not make speeches. But let us go a little bit down, you know. And here the Muslims, they are giving us how the creation happened. And by the way, they are copying from science book now. Which means, uh, there's many things in here is true. It's not false. And, but the, what, what the Muslims try to do, they try to mix between science and fictions. Science, which is a true, and fictions, which is a Quran. <coughs> And we will prove from their, from their science, which the one they approve, that Islam is a stupid religion. You know, look and hear what he said. The sex cells, uh, those are annoying things, they keep coming. Uh, the sex cells uh, of the man who determine the sex of the baby. I like this. So the Muslims, they understand that the one who determine the sex of the baby is the uh, uh, the cell of the man, according to this uh, 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 understanding. Now, is that uh, true? Absolutely false. There is many things that determine the sex of the baby. You know, some of this actually, is, uh, some of it is true. <coughs> like yes, the sperm of the man will carry a message to the uh, to the to the egg, and the cell which is going to go through is going to be the one who will decide the sex of the baby. Uh, but uh, the woman, if she have a you know a high level of pH, you know uh, pH, what we call it, 
uh, that might kill uh, those cells which carry in the male uh, gender. Which means both together they work. You know, both together, yes, it is the, 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 the sperm who is going to carry at the end what, what is going to be the baby, the gender of it, but the women, uh, pH, is going to decide which one of them is going to survive. So it's both two things together they work. But anyway, I will go with this, no problem. Sex cells of the man who determine the sex of the baby. Now, is that what Muhammad he taught? As long as Muslims agree with this, and I challenge Muslims not to say this is a lie, because this is their post, and this is their words, not my words. Uh, and I'm focusing on at number, at number two now. You know? Uh, and uh, I don't want to forget in here, by the way, look what the Muslim says. Humans are not created from sperm that complete, but from small sperm mo ma mazua. Ah, okay. Now, we will go for that later. Humans are not created from a sperm that complete. This is a stupid thing to say, actually. What sperm that not complete? The sperm, each one of them is individual, it's complete. And they are individual, they are independent. They are not companies. They are not group, the groups. Yes, when the man, he released the sperm, he released mi millions of them, but each one of them is complete sperm. But anyway, I will tell you why the Muslims are saying that later. Now, let us focus on this. The sex cells of the man who determine the sex of the baby. Is that what Muhammad taught? If this is what the Muslims agree, as number two, it's me, Muhammad, a liar. Let us, see you, let us show you why. If we go to Sahih Bukhari, the book of Prophets, Hadith number 546. Uh, a group of people, you know, I, I think they are making fun of Muhammad. And Muhammad, you know, when people ask him questions, they, he think that uh, they consider him a scientist. Uh, they ask him, why, uh, why the baby, some of them look like the mothers, and some of them they look like the father. Now Muhammad, he come with the answer. And the answer is the following. And I want the Muslims to listen carefully. Muhammad, he is saying here, as for resemblance of the child, to its parents, if the man, if a man has a, has a sexual intercourse with his wife, and gets discharged first. Notice with me, please. <clears throat> if a man has sexual intercourse with his wife, and get discharged first, the child will resemble resemble the father. Now, uh, 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 I challenge the Muslim to make a movie about this scientific discovery that the one who discharged first, the one who have orgasm first, the baby will look like him. And he continue. And if the women, focus with me please. If the women <coughs> get discharged first, the child will resemble her. Now, what does that mean? What, what, what does that mean exactly? It's mean that who discharged first is going to control what the baby is going to be, Regard, you know, regardless uh, uh, who you are, the, the, the discharge. And in here, uh, it's mean there's no difference between the, the, the sperm of the women, if the women have a sperm, according to Muhammad, because that's what it means, and the sperm of the man. The only difference is who discharged first. Like, you know, if you, if you are an ugly like me, and you don't want your babies to look like me or like you, uh, you know, or what you need to do, just be careful, don't discharge first. Therefore, the babies will look like their mothers. And that absolutely false and stupid thing to say. And that to prove that all the science Muslims they speak about is, is a fairy tale stories. Because this idiot Muhammad, he think that if you discharge first, the baby will look like you. And actually, most of Muslim women, they don't have orgasm at all because they are circumcised. And therefore, they don't have, you know, orgasm. And still many of the babies, they look like the mother. What does this have to do with who to discharge first? So what Muhammad understand from this, that there is two parties in this method of sex. The first one and the second one, there's no difference between them. Which is the father. In this case, it was if he, he discharged first, the, the baby will look like him.
if the women she discharged first, if the women here, you know, discharge first, the child will look like her. What is what does that mean? It means uh, uh, the man and the women, both of them, they have a sperm, and both of them, they have the same uh, uh, contained material. We Muhammad he considered the sperm, and both of them they do the same exactly. The only difference is who is going to discharge first. And this is not only stupid. This is uh, this is this is uh, this is madness, and this is foolishness. And uh, this is a crazy. And you know, there is many women, uh, <coughs> uh, like, uh, uh, and actually, this charge has nothing to do even with with the, with the, uh, having the women getting pregnant, because uh, you know, uh, women can get pregnant if, without her having orgasm at all, right? And uh, having having orgasm have nothing to do with with being, being you know the women getting pregnant. Uh, and the look of the baby have nothing to do with this charge first because simply it is the message of the DNA from the man and the DNA in the egg both together they will make the new look of the baby you discharge first I discharge first who care so you know what the Muslim try to 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 to, to do is to mix the fictions of, of the Quran with the science of, of, of the world today and try to make you believe that Islam believe in science or Islam actually is about science. Now we continue, we will see the following too. Muhammad believe, and as the Quran says, I can show you from the Quran, the verse is saying that, that the human being or the sperm of the man is the reason for creation, not the, there's not the women. And as you see in here, then Allah will say, while you were in the backbone of Adam, he was, he was where? In the backbone of Adam. He never been any part of the women. The women, she is just a vessel who was going to take what the man he give, and that thing will grow inside, and that's it. So according to Islamic Shireen here, what we see in this explanation, in this verse, uh, in this uh, uh, hadith, Sahih Bukhari, uh, that a man, a human being, is a created from the backbone. Now, is that scientifically correct? That we, we are coming from the backbone? This is something stupid to say. Because the sperm is not coming from inside the bones. 